Well, hello everybody. Um, we're going to do a weekly vlog, but it's Sunday the 19th. Because um, I haven't done one for a while, I thought I'd start it on a Sunday. And another reason is that I've got a new camera, because the other one broke. So I've bought a Panasonic Lumix. It's very nice. Which I'm filming on. I mean, obviously the light's not brilliant in here, but that's because I've got the light behind me. Um, it's 19th of June. It's Father's Day. So we're going to do Sunday to Saturday this week, just to see how it goes. Because um, we haven't done one for a while, and something's happening today, so hey. Why not? Um, so we're just getting ready to go out to lunch. I'll go and pick my mum and dad up. And we're going up to the Prince Wales to have Sunday lunch for Father's Day, which would be very nice. So I'm just going to go brush my hair and go get them. I'll see you soon. Oh, I love this camera. Yeah, it needs cutting up. So there's Jennifer's. That's mine. We'll sort it out now for you, all right? Oh. This is my dessert apple crumble. Jennifer? Chocolate cake and cream. <laughs> she loves cream. She was drinking it out of the um the thing. Yum. Outside now because it's too hot in there. We've finished our desserts. Jennifer's kicking off. Dad's on the phone to sis. My sister Heather. No, you get it. Don't punch me. I'm not getting it now. It's dropping off again. Look at that. Right, well, we're back from lunch. That was really nice. Really enjoyed that. Prince Wales. If you're ever in the Risco area, South Wales, and you want some food, they do food Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Those not through the summer Sundays so much. Um, but check out their page on Facebook. It's the Risco. Hey, um, blah, 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 blah. They're on the Risco page, but they've got their own page, which is the Prince of Wales. Beautiful views across the valley, as you've seen many times. Definitely worth the food. It was, wasn't that expensive. I bought four adult meals, a child's meal, which is an adult's meal. Three desserts, uh, two pints, and a cognac, well, a Corvoisier, for my dad. And it was 66 quid which is really good value. The food's big enough, certainly plenty of enough food. I am stuffed still. Um, but now, unfortunately, it's time to start sorting things out and get ready for normal normality tomorrow, which is work and school and nursery and stuff like that. So I am going to start putting the, sorting out the clean washing, take some more dirty washing down to do. I think while I'm doing it, I'll watch a bit of uh, YouTube on TV, because that's what the TV's for. And we'll just uh, see what happens, but yeah. Oh, it was really nice. Really nice, really enjoyed that. And I'll see you in a bit. So, just a quick update on the reading journal. Yeah. I haven't bought many books this month, as you see, there's only five on there. Um, but I've read two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, that's it I think, yeah. 28 books this month. This is because I had a chest infection and I was laid up for pretty much a week and a half to two weeks. So I just read, and I read loads. Um, I'm now trying to finish this week, before the end of the month, this book, which is The Memoirs of Cleopatra. As you can see, it's a great big chunky book. I had to resell tape it. I've taken the dust jacket off. It is 800, 900 and... Let's actually get to the end of the story. I only count it to the end of the story. Not necessarily the actual numbers. There we are, author's note. So it's 957 pages. And I am on page... 426, so I'm at this point where the chapter break is. So, yeah. So I want to finish that this week. But it's not for this house. Huh. Yeah. So I'm also trying to finish this book as well, after I finish The Memoirs of Cleopatra. I have no idea what I'm doing with this camera, I'm not very good with it. This is a photo book, um, but there's quite a bit of text as well in it. Um, there's 191 pages, and I'm on page 101. So it's not a lot to go, it shouldn't take long, I might even try and finish it tonight. Um, and then once I've read that I'm going to read The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell because that's one I need to write a review for uh, for NetGalley so it's out on the 23rd of June so I've got another four days so 
and it won't take long to read that. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with some more washing because I've got to put some loads on and I'll see you afterwards. Hey guys, it is Tuesday 20th, 20th, no, Monday 20th of June. Do you know what? I have no idea what it is. I'm feeling a little bit... Probably because I've had a fortnight off and I've done very little for a fortnight. I've been really, really tired, really worn out. So work was fine. It was great, um, as it should be. Uh, Paul picked Jennifer up. She's downstairs. I've done a bit of painting. I've done a background on a picture I wanted to, to do. Beautiful outside. I'm like, we'll have our tea outside tonight, I think. Um, what am I doing? I am updating the reading journal because I finished the Lisa Jewell book, The Family remains which is a sequel to the family upstairs which i loved um it's out on the 23rd so by the time you see this it will be out i've just got to put my review up on netgalley my blog goodreads and amazon i'll probably do it, try and do that tonight or tomorrow um feeling a bit dizzy so let's have come up here i've got the fan on jen's downstairs the pool's downstairs it's all fine I'm still reading Cleopatra, the memoirs of Cleopatra. I, mean, I am about halfway through it now. It's, like, it's a big book. I've got to finish it this week by this weekend. I want to finish it by the end of the month. But I also have got a lot of other books that I want to get reading, so it's really hard. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for a pen. <sighs> I'm tired. First day back, though. <coughs> and I had to go to the office, so... But it's all good. Tomorrow is work from home day. Hooray! And uh, yes, I'm very happy. I'm just very tired. So I'm going to carry on uh, doing what I was doing and I'll see you afterwards. I'll see you in a bit. It is Monday evening. Here is Jennifer. Jen, are you going to say hello to your fans? Hey, fans. <laughs> She's just playing. It's nearly bedtime. We're watching a bit of YouTube, aren't we? We're watching the Tannerites. Um, and I'm still reading Cleopatra. I'm on page 557 of 900 and something. I'm tired. You can tell I'm tired. I look tired. Um, yeah, it's been alright. Tomorrow I've got to go shopping because we can go on Sunday because it was Father's Day. Um, so I'm going to go shopping tomorrow when I finish work before I pick up Jen. I'm going to go and get... I've got to go to Tesco. I'll check see if we need any cat food. And uh, then I'm going to go to Lidl's. I'll do it in that order. And pick up Jen. <laughs> She's watching the Tannerites, and it's, it's a granny one. But one of them's wearing a Mr. Bean mask, so it looks a bit weird. So I've had a nice shower, dried my hair, and I feel nice and cool and relaxed. I was feeling a bit ill earlier, but I think it's just from going back to work after a fortnight of doing very little. But yeah, I feel okay. So yeah, happy. Got to do some packing. Anyway. I'll do a bit of that tomorrow as well, I think. Anyway, that's probably it for today. I'll see you tomorrow when it's back to the grind. Really have to press the button hard on this camera to make it actually do the thing. Um, so it's it's Tuesday, it's the 21st, the longest day. Um, it's actually quarter past 12 nearly. I'll be finishing work in 45 minutes and I'll go shopping to see if I can get some stuff. Um, I'm in the very room just waiting for a call. I'm watching some book shopping vlogs, which is always fun. And yeah, I'm just chilling out really, just, you know, thinking, mm. there is a tag I want to do, which is the mid-year reading catch-up freak-out tag thing, something like that, uh, which I might make Thursday if I get a chance, also going to do a current chat Thursday if I can. Oh, it's a nightmare, it's such hard work, I just haven't got the time to do anything. I just want to go book shopping really, and I've got no money, so. Books, eh? I am still reading Cleopatra. Um, I did take a break from it yesterday because I've read a ton of it yesterday and my head was spinning with it because it's very historical, obviously. Um, no, not the Book of Mirrors. I brought that in for a reason. I'm reading Susan Hill. What's the book called? The Trail of Trust. It's really good, actually. Um, so it's a murder mystery, which I like. Uh, so I'll carry on reading that. I've bought in all the books I've read. That's why the, I've got to sort that out later. I'm so tired. Mm. Anyway, I better crack on with work and I'll uh, talk to you when I've finished. Okay, guys, this vlog's going to be really boring for you this week. There's not a lot happened. I finished reading uh, Susan Hill, The Betrayal Trust. Very good book. Um, I have now read 31 books this month. That's more than a book a day because, of course, I was ill. And now I'm going to try. Uh, 
can't read. Oops, something just fell off. That was probably the bookmark from the other one. Uh, a bit more of the Memoirs of Cleopatra. It is such a big book. I've still got 400 pages to go. But, as you can see, I'm more than halfway there. Hooray. And I do want to finish it this week so that next week I can concentrate on my net galley arcs so I can get my reviews done up on the blog, up on up on Amazon and up on net galley um, and Goodreads. So, um... I've done The Family Upstairs, the, not The Family Upstairs, the sequel to The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell, which is called The Family Remains. I've just got to type it up. I will try and do that tomorrow night. I have had a sale. I've sold a jacket, so I need to get that out. So, and when I come back um, next week, um, hopefully, I say come back, I've not gone anywhere, but after my week's holiday, I'm having a week annual leave next week. Um, we're going out for day trips probably maybe not, might just stay and clean the house it's just a week and chill it's been booked for ages because my birthday's next week and I always have my birthday off we go out for dinner, don't know we'll see what happens anyway, after my week of leave I'm going to be focusing on trying to get as much uh, eBay done as possible getting it all drafted, listed and try and focus on getting some sales I'm so tired Jennifer's asleep, she fell asleep earlier we had our tea outside and she actually fell asleep in the house, we left in watching TV, she didn't want to come out, and that's fine because we're in and out all the time. As soon as we, we were so hot out there, even at half past six, came in, she was sparko, and now she I brought her up to bed and she hasn't stirred hardly. So I'm gonna take my medication and I'm gonna go and try and read a bit of this. Whether or not I finish it tonight is another matter. But after that, if I just move my tablet because I'm charging it. Because Jennifer likes to watch it. Um, I have a stack of books normally by my bed. And there's only... Well, there's one big one which I'll be reading once I've read the huge Jack the Ripper. Which is getting through slowly. I have a smallish book next. Um, which is called... Oh, God. Oh, let's see what's called. Woman of the Dead by Bernhard Eichner. When Bloom discovered that the men had murdered her husband. She was distraught. But then she realised what she had to do. She had to track them down and kill them one by one. That sounds good. How many pages is it? It's not very thick. It's about... It's only 284 pages, I think. Oh, 258 pages. So it's quite a short book. And then after that, I got the chunky Marion Keys one. I love Marion Keys. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with that now, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Morning. It is Wednesday, the 22nd of June. Feeling a bit lightheaded today. I've got a load of washing on the line. Jennifer got up early because she crashed out early, didn't she? Um, so I am up here getting ready to work. I'm just logging in one of my laptops to sort it out because I need to check something. Um, I've read that many books this month that those are all my red books and they're double stacked. I've got nowhere to put any more. I've got two big books on the side. I've got to add that one and it's only the 22nd of June. So I'm going to do some little TikToks with some quick little reviews and I'm going to, oops, stuff everywhere that I need today, do those before I start, so about half an hour and then crack on. So I'll pick up Jen later and we're going to go down to Grandad's. So we'll have a look at the other plants. Do I know the strawberries are gorgeous? There's raspberries, they're gorgeous. There were cherries last week as well. I had a few cherries, it was very nice fruit. Uh, a few things to do. I've started packing some of my winter clothes away, which I should have ages ago because it's really hot. Get my summer stuff out. I've got all that, you know, arranged. So that's good. I just need to find my some my shoes, like my sandals, and my flip flops, and my nice sparkly ones. <sighs> it's very warm. Anyway, I better crack on, and I otherwise there'll be no. I keep trying to press the back because the back of the camera, because that's where the button was, but it's on the top on this one. I'm not used to it. Yet. 
<laughs> I'll be used to it in a couple of weeks. See you in a bit. Yet again, I have not done any vlogging today. Um, and I've come up to bed now. To read, it's 8 o'clock. Jennifer's asleep. She fell asleep again. Look at her. Cat's up here. Hey, babe. Look at that pretty face. Oh, she doesn't want to show herself. It's a bit messy, isn't it? That's it. So, oh, God, she's off. I'm still trying to finish the memoirs of Cleopatra. And I am now on page 711 of 957. So it's like two page, 200 pages, just over. <sighs> I was hoping to read today, it's not going to happen. Next book I've got after that is a nice big Marion Keys one, Last Chance Alone. Have I read this one? No, I haven't. No, I haven't read this one. Um, I love Marion Keys, so I'm going to read that then. And I've now got another stack of books here. I've got Where the Poor Dad Sing, Ugly Love, uh, Moonlight on Studland Bay. Meet Me in London, Life, Death and Vanilla Slices, The Time Traveller's Wife, Her Mother's Daughter, Freeze Frame, Always a Bridesmaid and Ready Play It Too. Um, there are a couple more. There's a stack of non-fiction I want to pick up, which is um, Lorna Loves Me and My Shadows, um, the Bert La one, Notes on a Cowardly Lion by his son John. There's, I think, a Marilyn one in there. And there's definitely a Ripple one, but there's about four. No, there's not. It's just four. Once Upon a Time in the West Country by Tony Hawks. Not the skateboarder. The comedian. The British comedian. And um, a, re a Ripper book, but I can't remember which one that is. Um, I'm just going to chill out and read more of this and try and get some more pages that maybe still try and finish it, you never know. But I just get tired. Um, but yeah. I remember, I'll actually take you out with me tomorrow. Hmm. Okay, I finished work. Yay! It's Thursday, one more day to go. I am watching Ask a Mortician again. Um, just working my way back with through some of the videos because I enjoy that. I don't watch them all, just watch some of them. Um, I'm uploading, not uploading, I am editing a colouring chat, or I will be when the files finish transferring. I haven't done one them for so long, it's only a short one. Um, just been doing one in Lost Ocean. Uh, it's a whip I've been trying to do for a long time. I am still reading Cleopatra. What am I on? What am I on? What am I on? Page. Oh god, it's getting a, I'm near the end. I'm on page. Hang on. Doesn't say. I'm on chapter 72. Um, it's the next section, the next scroll as they call it. Page 749. Oh, 900 and something. Um, because I like to, you know, read in bed and lie down, that's not a book I can lie down and read. I also started reading The Weird Poor Dad Sing, which I'm actually currently enjoying very much. It's a very good book, very interesting. I'm only on page 40, so. So those are the two I'm reading at the moment. I was going to read Last Chance Soon by Marion Keys next, but I've just, you know. Cleopatra's a huge book. So is this one. Now I know this is going to be a lot easier to read and the, reason, the problem with the Cleopatra one is of course it's a lot about um, uh, war tactics um, but it is good, it's very good. Um, with Marion Keys, how many pages is it? Again, it's, it's only 596 pages. It just looks big because it's a bigger format. Um, but I will in... Where did my video go? What did you do? Cats um, jumping on everything, any baby? Ooh, good girl. Come on, yeah. Come say hello. Say hello to all the lovely people in YouTubeville. Yes, here she is, my baby. <laughs> She's so good. She's such a good girl. Though. She's just like you. You pick her up as much as you want. She doesn't care. Um, but yeah, right, so I'm going to watch a bit more of this and Hi. get this going Today, and we're going to have to plug it in. And in a bit, people. I, as a white lady, will get drunk and eat I haven't uh, finished watching, um, sorry, I'll go plug this in and, and do this thing. Um, but yeah. I have no idea what happened. Oh, anyway, I will see you in a bit. 
Good morning, it is now Friday, hooray! The 20 something of June, 23rd, no 24th, 24th, yeah 24th June. Last day in the office for the week, so tired, didn't sleep very well because it's quite stuffy. As you can see, it's not very nice out today, it's actually raining, hooray, that means it's going to cool down, which is good. Um, it's actually pissing down, it's really heavy now, so I'm going to get a bit wet walking to the office, but oh, it's so nice to have some air in the car and it not feel oppressively hot. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and do my shift, I'm going to take my dad shopping and then I'm going to pick up Jen and go home and uh, do washing probably because that's mostly what I've got to do this Friday. I want to get it done, put it away, so I don't have to spend my entire weekend doing it. I'll see you when I finish. What? I don't know, Friday and it's the end of the working week, it's Friday evening. I've got very little left of this book. So I'm trying to finish that tonight, that's the Memoirs of Cleopatra, and I'm on page 40 of where the crawdad sings, I'm going to read that tomorrow. I'm tired, it's still quite muggy, even at right date, Jennifer's alright, she's watching something on YouTube. Sweet thing. Oh you smell, you've broken wind again haven't you? No, no, she's right. Anyway, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. It is Saturday afternoon. It's very warm. We've had some strange weather today. It was very fresh this morning. We had some uh, showers. It was absolutely grey, really grey oversight. And uh, now it's gone hot again. I'm sweating because I've been putting the washing away. Still got more of that to do, a few other bits and pieces. I'm going to pop down and see Grandad in a minute. I can drag her away from the TV, but yeah, I finished reading the memoirs of Cleopatra and I really did enjoy it. It was long though. Um, and now I'm reading this, which is a lot shorter, and I'm enjoying it so far. So I'll let you know what I think about it when I've read a bit more. It's raining outside, it's horrible. Um, probably goes with how we're all feeling today after um, the news out of the States. Yes, I know you are, darling. Just trying to find something to watch. Um, what with Roe v. Wade um, being overturned, which is just typical of America, really. Typical of a, a country where it puts religion above all people and guns have more right than people with a uterus. So, basically, I'll put this on my TikTok as well. I'm in the UK. It's a bit far to travel, but, you know, if you ever need to come and visit your sister and your cousin in, in the UK... I got your back. Yeah, no, just let me know. Come on over. I'll uh, show you around. You know, I'll, I'll drive you around, get you whatever you need. Keep you safe. Have a great time. I've got your back. We're with you. And it's time we all started to fight and stand up for ourselves. Because if it can happen there, it can happen anywhere. We must not let it happen. We must not. We must, if we need to, we have to rise up. We have to use what we've got to get Roe v. Wade back on the books. Just to say it's not originally in the Constitution is rubbish. The Constitution is meant to be a living document, meaning it can change. It can be changed. So, you gun people. It can be changed. That includes your second bloody amendment you're so fond of. In, in, a, in a country that puts guns above people, and America definitely does, then I'm sorry it's wrong. But sister, my darling sister in America, if you if you need me, you know where I am. Okay guys, I'm gonna call it a day, I'm tired. So it's the end of this weekly vlog. It's been a really crappy one, I know. I'm just gonna go and read my book for half an hour. I might have a shower and then uh, head off to sleep. It's been a funny day today, what with storms, rail, hay. Rain, hail, thunder, lightning. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next week when we do it all again. Maybe.